On the day I was born, something big happened in the Imperial Palace. Over a hundred miles away. Your Majesty. What's wrong with my son? Your Majesty, the Crown Prince, succumbed to illness. He got a sudden attack of abdominal pain and vomited. Before I could diagnose His Highness, his whole body convulsed and became cold all over. Your Majesty, I couldn't save the Crown Prince. Before that, Emperor Zhenzong has lost four sons. It's the same case this time. They all died of an unknown illness. My apology, Your Majesty. Save that. I only want my son back. Bring him back to life! Please, Your Majesty. Tell me. What the hell killed my son? I, I don't know. The cause of death, Your Majesty. Shu Kuaiden. Get him! Your Majesty. I really have no idea, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, I'm just telling the truth. Chia. My son. Confess it or not. Brother, they are still not confessing. Do they know it or not? What do you say? Well, only heaven knows. Have you checked? The Crown Prince's dietary and the food he had eaten? Dali Temple, Ministry of Justice, and Kaifeng Prefecture checked. All had been tested for poison before His Highness ate. What about those who served him? They were tortured, but no one confessed. Your Majesty, from the result of the joint investigation, the Crown Prince should have died of illness, not murder. What disease could be so acute? His Majesty has lost five sons, him included. Did they all die of illness? My mother had me when she was 50, and my father was 60. That was a weird night. With a clear moon and stars, yet it was raining. Master, Master, the baby is born. Master, the baby is born. Please have a look. Father. Master. Father. Master, are you okay? Mother never woke up. After giving birth to me, I was born different. So my father abandoned me. But a tiger saved me. Done? Yes. Bring him deep. Lest some wild dog dig him out? Yeah, buried deep. Why hasn't your brother come back? Father. I'm back. Okay. Is the baby born? Yes, but he's dead. What? Why? Father, I was in a hurry and took a shortcut to the woods. Look what I've got. Here. Father. Y you... Father! Brother, are you really going to keep him? Brother! To tell you the truth, I was not happy when Mother was pregnant. She's not young. We haven't had babies. Yet they gave us a little brother. You know, neither of us could inherit much money. Now we have to share. I knew. What you'd been thinking about. Brother, let's make it clear. You can keep him. If your wife says no, don't come back to me. Brother. Even a tiger didn't eat him. Why do you want to keep him? Get lost! Uh, fine. I almost shot you. 
There are so many sparrows in this yard spoiling the grain. I have to give them a lesson. What are you doing standing there? Come on in. Is the baby born? Yes. A girl? No. A boy again? All right, you watch the shop. I'll look after mother. Huh? What's in the basket? My little brother. What? My brother. Your brother? <gasps> Why does he look like this? I don't know. Why did you bring him back? My mother is still in a coma after losing too much blood. My father saw him as a monster. Bao Hai almost buried him alive. Your father and brother didn't want him. So you brought him back. He is my biological brother. How can we abandon him? It's such a big deal. Why didn't you talk to me? I'm talking it over with you now. Come on. He's already here. No way. I haven't had a baby yet. How can I raise my brother-in-law? What the hell is this? Moreover, he looks like this. Maybe someone will think of him as a... I don't know what to do now. My sister-in-law took me in. I've never seen my mother. My sister-in-law was the first woman I saw in this world. So for the rest of my life, she is my mother. Sonny. Sonny. Tell me, how many sheep are there? Two. What about lambs? Four. How many in total? Eight. No. Five. Sanhei is eight now. Why can't he count? Anything wrong with his brain? Sanhei, from now on, you don't have to count. Just remember, those with red ears are all ours. Don't hurt other people's sheep back. One, two, three, four. Four plus two equals eight. I accidentally dropped something into the well. Do something to get it out for me, okay? Here, this well. I couldn't see it. Help me look for it, okay? Good. Before his death, father divided the property into three parts for me and my two brothers. To get a larger share, my second sister-in-law pushed me into the well. Sunhei? <gasps> it's coming out. My lady, push harder. Harder? My lady, try harder. It's about to come out.
It was night when I woke up from a coma. In the well, I saw a strange astronomical phenomenon. Lunar eclipse, which is said to bring bad luck. Astronomer. Yes, your majesty. What have you got? I dare not say. It's the decree of heaven. Feel free to tell me. Just tell me the truth. Your Majesty, lunar eclipse is a bad omen. I'm afraid it's bad for the prince. The Imperial Astronomer was beheaded. For what? Because he said something unfavorable. Has that bitch delivered yet? My lady, His Majesty sent Mr. Chen there. I couldn't get close. <gasps> Come on, try harder. My lady, it's almost out! Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Congratulations, Your Majesty. It's a prince. Look. I've had this jade pendant with me my whole life. It has repelled lots of ill fortune for me. Keep it. Do as I told you. Please rest assured, Your Majesty. I'm on it. Hold on. Any access permit? Mr. Chen is leaving the palace as decreed. What's in that box? Birthday fruits for the Eighth Lord granted by His Majesty... Mr. Chen. Mr. Chen, what are you going to do at this late hour? My Lord, Mr. Chen's going out of the palace. Mr. Chen, please. Your Majesty. I've had everything done. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Congratulations, Your Majesty. Congratulations, Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Why are you upset, Your Majesty? What about Sister Lee's baby? Is it a prince or princess? Yeah, prince or princess. Yeah, prince or princess. Go have a look. Let's go have a look. Let's go. Go have a look. It scared me. What's that? Are you here to congratulate me on having a monster? Forgive, Forgive us, us, Your Majesty. majesty. Please, spare Please spare us, us Your majesty. majesty. Please spare us. Sakai! 
Sorry! 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 Where did he go? Who knows? Greetings, Your Majesty. Your Majesty, it's all settled. Please rest assured. Today the Eighth Lord will... send the Crown Prince to a commoner's home in secret. Xu Weiden. Has Chen made it all clear to you? Yes, Your Majesty. All clear. Xu Weiden. Do you know how important this task is? He may be my sole heir for the rest of my life. Now you will protect him. The future of the Song Dynasty is on you. Rest assured, Your Majesty. From now on, I will never leave the Crown Prince. Your Majesty, please give the Crown Prince a name. My daughter is hungry. Hold my child. He has had enough. My daughter has to be fed. My child is crying. I quit. Find someone else to do this. You want to die? Whatever, I quit. Give my girl back. If you dare get off, I will kill her. Calm down. They're both your kids. You're quarreling. But don't get the kids involved. I, I listen to you. Give me my girl. <laughs> Feed him. You treasure your child. What about my girl? She's also the apple of my eye. Keep going. Wait. Man, what's that about? Don't ask. Move. No, no way. I found you too weird since we left His Highness's mansion. So you're not a couple. If the child was stolen, I would be an accomplice. <laughs> Lady Liu has arrived. My lady, what brought you here? I heard your wife is in labor today. I want to see the baby. What? Am I too early? My lady, you're a little early. The midwife is delivering the baby. It just so happens that I want to share some good news with you. Leave us. Yes, my lady. Brother, last night... I knew that. My lady, it's not time to celebrate. Why? I sent someone to get the midwife this morning. My man in the palace said, after delivering that monster last night, the midwife and two maids disappeared with no trace. Besides, Xiao Huaimin told me, Chen Lin, His Majesty's trusted eunuch, went out with a hamper last night, saying he was decreed by His Majesty to send birthday fruits to the Eighth Lord. He went out at midnight. It was so late, His Majesty was awake, 
But what about Duke Baxian? What do you mean by that? Have you ever seen a woman give birth to a monster? It's not that simple. I got news that Zhou Huirin, His Majesty's Imperial Guard, disappeared mysteriously yesterday. He was also involved in this. What do you mean? My lord, the baby is delivered! Delivered! Congratulations, my lord, it's a boy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for giving me a son at my middle age. I'll go see my wife. It's not done yet. What? They said, one was delivered, but there's one more. One more? <laughs> <laughs> my lady, you came here today and really brought me great surprise. I have to see my wife. Excuse me. Congrats. I survived again. Last time it was a tiger that saved me. And this time, a few sheep. Sister-in-law told me. The sheep led them to the well. And they found me. Sister-in-law. Sister-in-law. What's up? Sunhei, you're awake. Sister-in-law, six sheep. What? Two big ones and four small ones. Six in total. <laughs> I asked you to shoot the sparrows. Why are they getting more aggressive? So much grain has been spoiled. Listen to me. You can't shoot with both eyes open. Close one eye. Have a try. One eye closed. One eye open. One eye closed. Why can't you have one eye closed? Let me show you. Look. Have one eye closed. Got it? Buy some meat for me. I'll cook you red braised pork. Wait. Ten coppers for one pound. Don't go to your second brother's booth. Their scale is rigged. Sugar coated haws. Fresh pork. Fresh pork. Sun Hei, where are you going? Buy some pork for sis in law. How much do you want? I can't buy from you. Why? Rigged scale. You brat. Bad boy. How could my sis in law say that? Yeah. Blockhead. Forget it. Brother, I'll buy yours. Good boy. My heart isn't so greedy and dark. Bruce, how could I be darker than you? How much do you want? One pound. Ten coppers. I want both lean cuts and fatty cuts, okay? Well, okay. Half and half, one pound in total. Six coppers for a pound of lean cuts. Four for fatty cuts. Here you are. So, three for half a pound of lean cuts and two for fatty cuts. Five coppers in total, right? This fool. Since when can you do the math? She is asking you, when did you learn this? Something went wrong with Sanhei. We didn't notice. What? What's wrong? He can't... What? He can't have one eye closed. 
You scared me, that's it? It's not a big deal, okay? Of course it is! Sis-in-law, here you are. Lean and fatty cuts, half a pound each. Didn't I tell you to buy one pound? Yes. Why do you still have five coppers? Sanhei, tell me, where did you buy it? My second brother's booth. What? Your second brother? It never happens. Sanhei, come out! Sanhei, you brat. How dare you fool me? Give me that five coppers. Six for one pound of lean cuts, three for a half. Four for one pound of fatty cuts, two for a half. So, five coppers in total, isn't it? It's ten coppers for one pound of meat. Where's the other five? How do I know? You! Sis-in-law, brother. How could you do this? It said you do honest business. How could you abet this fool to trick me? Sister, let's talk about that five coppers later. You said I abetted Sanhei? I can't accept it. You didn't teach him? Do you think I'm a fool? You are! You're a fool. You pushed him down the well to get his share. Surely he would hold grudges. Come on! Let's go fly a kite! Brother! Slow down. Wait for me! Hurry up! Wait for me! Brother, just slow down. Wait for me! Slow down. Wait! What's wrong? Where is the kite? It fell into the courthouse, dark monster. Why don't you go get the kite? Dare you go inside? If you dare sit in the armchair in the hall, we will never call you monster. Since Sanhei was saved from the well, he has become smart. It's a blessing. You read my mind. We can't let him herd sheep anymore. Find him a teacher. Let him study. In this way, he can help you with work. But those kids in private school, see him as a monster. He won't go. It's not up to him. It's for his own good. Today, the prefect asked to see me. The Prefect? What did you do? No, it was Sanhei. He sneaked into the lobby of the courthouse and sat in the Prefect's armchair. What? Relax. Luckily, the Prefect didn't mind that. He just told me to school Sanhei, don't worry. The Prefect knew that we run a grain shop. He wanted to borrow some grain from us. Borrow grain? He was hard up for food? No, it's the National Treasury. There was a shortfall in Lucho's grain depot. His Majesty sent someone to inspect, but the Prefect failed his duty. So he wanted to borrow 59 to 200 kilos of grain from us. When the Commissioner leaves, he'll give it back. You said yes? The Prefect asked, can we refuse? <laughs> You're dead meat this time. I'm gonna stew you. To nourish my wife. Open the door. Open the door! No grain sold. Open the door. Open the now. door now. Didn't you see the notice? Open the door! Be quick. Go ahead. All right, enough. Open Coming. the door. What can I do for you, sir? You're the shop owner. 
Yes. Get it. Yes. yes. Come. Come. What did I do? Let me go. Go! What did I do? Why are you arresting him? Let me go. Wait a moment, wait! You've got it wrong. You must have got it wrong. We lent 5,900 or 200 kilos of grain to the prefect yesterday. We'll know. If he's wronged in the courthouse... Don't worry. They must have got it wrong. The prefect will do justice. Don't worry. Dark monster! Dark monster! Your brother got caught with a big rooster! Advisor, the rice I lent was newly harvested. How could it become musty rice that was stocked for years? I'm wronged. Bring the rice here. Show him. This isn't my rice. I lent you the newly harvested rice. You mean I've wronged you? Before we bought rice from you, there was no grain in our granary. Bought? You told me you got a shortfall and borrowed grain from me. When did you buy it from me? That's ridiculous. How could the prefect borrow grain from a plain folk like you? How ridiculous. Let me out. My wife is going to be in labor. Please let me out. You wronged me. I'm wronged. I'm wronged. My lord, that shop owner is shouting in the prison. Let him be. He will stop it. When he loses his voice. My lord, the Imperial Commissioner will arrive soon. By then, if he has an inkling of this, you'd have to spend a hefty sum to bribe him. It won't be worth it. Then destroy all traces. Courthouse now. Get your brother. What are you doing here? I came to see my brother. My sister in law is in labor. She wants my brother back. I'm afraid he can't go back. Good you're here. Take this rooster back. Why can't my brother come back? That prisoner's van, see? If you catch up with it, you'll know why. Now go, or it would be too late. Sister-in-law, I want to go to school. I want to get an official rank.
Your Majesty. Your Majesty. Your Highness. Any news? Yes. Your Majesty, Sheila is back. He said Zhou Huiren has arrived safely with the Crown Prince. Please rest assured. Chen Li, I will entertain all the officials. Go take care. <laughs> There are fine wine and delicacies, with stunning beauties dancing. Why aren't you enjoying yourselves, yet staring at me? Wang Yanling, tell me. Ah. Your Majesty, I'm wondering why Your Majesty would hold this banquet. Chang Delin. How about you? Your Majesty, Lord Wang just spoke my mind. You two are thinking the same thing. That's once in a blue moon. All ministers, are you thinking the same thing as the two of them? Yes, yes Your, Majesty. Your Majesty. All my ministers are thinking the same thing. That has never happened before. Am I right, Eighth Brother? Congratulations, Your Majesty. All right. Since you all want to know, then let me tell you. I have a son. What's wrong? Don't you feel joyful? So you knew that I had a monster days ago. But there is one thing you don't know. Let me tell you now. Chendi, bring my son here. Listen, how loud he's crying. I love it better than anything. <laughs> You've all been blinded. When my son was born, there was an ill omen. I have lost five sons. I have to keep him alive. So I used a skinned cat to counter the omen. And I sent him to stay at my eighth brother's mansion until a good omen shows up today. I've got my son back. There is a successor for our Song Dynasty. Isn't it good news? Congratulations, Your Majesty. Long live Your Majesty. Long live our Song Dynasty. Congratulations, Your Majesty. Wait. Who the hell are you? Who are you? Your husband. What about the baby? It is our baby. When can I go back home? 
Until I can go back. When? I have no idea. What if my husband can't find me? Remember, I am your husband.